Welcome to another episode of Santa Barbara Arts TV. It is a very special episode. We are joined today by Richard Reens and Stani Nwandiu of Pant Hoot. Uh, yes, well, how do you pronounce your last name, St Stani? Nyandwi. Not Nyandwi. Stani Nyandwi. We're joined here today by Stani Nyandwi of Pant Hoot, a great documentary film uh, premiering at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival, the 36th Annual Film Festival. Huge round of applause for Richard and Stani. Congratulations uh, on Pant Hoot. It is incredible. Richard, Stani, how are you guys feeling after completing what I consider to be 18 minutes of, of pure cinematic, cinematic magic, really, is what I would call it. But Richard, how do you feel? Stani, how do you feel? Well, I feel great, but I mostly feel honored that I got to work with and meet with Stani, and now he will hopefully be a lifelong friend. Uh, I think I think that's the case, right, Stani? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. And Stani, the name of the film is Pant Who, but you're, and I'm very honored to be with you, Stani, because you are also known as the Chimp Whisperer. The film really is about you, Stani. You're the star of the show. If you could just share with us, Stani, a little bit about your background, because I know the film delves into it a little bit, but when did you first know that you had an inclination to really communicate with, with the chimps that you communicate? And also, we'll talk a little bit about the film, but Stani, congratulations. And could you share with us a little bit about your background and how you first had this intuition? Uh, thank you very much. Um, yes, my background, I born in a very small village in the mountain uh, in Burundi. And uh, I didn't know if I will be doing like what I'm doing today because uh, where I born there was no chimps, but uh, in Burundi we have a chimps in the world, but very far, they are very far. So I saw chimps, I started to see chimps when I was a uh, uh, little bit older boy, when I went in the town and then I started to see chimps. So, uh, I left home and then I went to town and then I started working uh, as house boy. Uh, but after that, I got someone, friend from where I was working. And uh, he told me about the Jane Goddard Institute, which it was a joint ad. Uh, uh, just started in Burundi, that was in eight, nine. And uh, he took me to the boss and uh, I was still very young. And uh, I just started working as a gardener. But he, he was a very good boss. I think he, he as he was a mature person, he just, watching me and they saw the this boy. I think he is a, he will be someone. So he started to, um, teaching me, training me. It was not easy because uh, um, as I was working in the house boy in the house, and then I got to work with the chimps and the calling the chimps all the time uh urinating the the baby chimps carrying the baby chimps all day you're they urinating it to 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 me pooping to me but <laughs> i was i was not i was not a care because also the same time i saw my boss also was doing the same and then he, my boss he was he loved them so there no way I was uh, or, uh, denied to do that because also my boss do that. So I copy from him. So from that, and the, I was already joining Jenny Godal, and then the, the love for the chimps started from that. Wow. And the, but I can say uh, 
yes, he was training me, he showed me, but mostly many, it is uh, me. I did my my training, oh. and uh, um, and then uh, later I did know I just thought it is work, but the later people can see what people talk to me. Oh, people! I thought, see this this person, this is an easy. Is a, is a great guy, you know, he understands them. But to me, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I just I thought it is, it is a job. Wow. It is a, how it's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But I, uh, I did not, I'm different. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but uh, what I was doing, just wake up in the morning and then I work with them and then I communicate with them and they, I understand them, I see they want water, I give water, they want this, they want attention, they want to pray. I do that, but I thought it is normal uh, duty. Wow. But uh, until uh, when I, I meet people, people from here, we work together, maybe they can go and then talk and take each other. I, if you go somewhere uh, where I used to work, make sure you meet Stanley. And uh, I see people coming and then talking. Someone told me if I come to, like if I come to the, the, in Uganda, said in sanctuary, I make sure I meet you, I spend the time with you. And they say you have very good uh, experience, good uh, uh, understanding each team. I say, okay, we, I, I will work with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I can... <laughs> well, Danny, thank you for that wonderful, incredible just story. And now, Richard, uh, turning a little bit to the film itself, Pan Who, because I know you've done a couple other films, not documentary per se, but how did Pan Who really come about? What was the inspiration per, for Pan Who? And could you talk a little bit about the process itself? Well, I'm a, I'm a television commercial director. I direct TV network promos and stuff like that. And I'd been in LA for over 20 years and now I'm uh, in Texas, but I was working with some clients and they were big friends and longtime friends of Stanley's, mm-hmm. the, the Hallwags. Mm-hmm. And they met him in the Gamba Island, which is what Stanley was just telling us about was the last place he had just mentioned. Um, and that was 14 years ago. And uh, another friend of ours, a mutual friend of all of ours, is, or now he's a friend, but he was friends with them before, uh, is been doing a book on Stanny and they thought, well, maybe we could do, is there some kind of video we can to help encourage this book? Um, and I said, well, maybe we can do a sizzle reel or something like that, you know, like a little commercial for it. And they said, okay, cool. Well, let's, let's go meet Stanny. Let's, you know, we were hoping to bring him here because that would have been the least expensive and the easiest for us and just do an interview. And then, you know, but, you know, he had just gotten, uh, the, the um, position as the primate manager over at Champ Eden in South Africa. And they said, all right, well, let's go there. I was like, okay. And uh, I didn't really realize he really could speak to the chimps. I had, I didn't, you know, like, you know, who does that? Nobody, no, but I mean, we know now that he does. Anyway, so I was very intrigued and we started and, you know, started the shoot. We did it in five days. And then one day with Jane Goodall after that. And, you know, you can't do a movie about chimpanzees without Jane Goodall in it. Mm-hmm. And since she was a big part of uh, Stanley's, like that's when Stanley, that's when the Burundi war was going on. He was working for Jane Goodall Institute mm-hmm. in, I guess, in Uganda, right, Stanley? Mm-hmm. And then. Yeah, yeah Ke- Kenya and the Uganda. Yeah, started Uganda, then you took the chimps to Kenya, right? Uh, from you, from Burundi, I took I took chimps to to Kenya. Ah. Oh, okay, I I saved them from uh, war in in Burundi to Kenya in sweet waters, mm-hmm. and I spent some uh, some months there in Kenya training staff, and then I crossed to Uganda, mm-hmm. where Debbie Cox she was also also coming to work, mm-hmm. and. Uh, we start. We started work. Do some changes in Entebbe Zoo, and uh, 
Yes, I, I, uh, we, reach, we did this very, very good uh, uh, night room. Uh, we call it Chimpa, Chimpa House. Mm -hmm. In that time, it was very nice, according to the, where the chimps was in the, in the small cage. But I remember I was with David in the evening, you have a coffee. Mm -hmm. And David asked, told me, you know, we needed to do more about for these chimps. <laughs> and then I asked, I asked you what you are doing, what, what, what about we can do sanctuary? Because mm -hmm. I remember now we, we shift from Burundi where we wanted to do uh, sanctuary. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't do that century in Burundi because of the war. Now we, we went in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And we did that change in the zoo. Uh, we, we, we thought it is the, the best. But mm -hmm. idea for the sanctuary, mm -hmm. it came. And then we start from that. Incredible. And then we started in Gamba Island, the Chimpa and the sanctuary. I was going to ask you, Stanny and Richard, what was it like collaborating with Jane Goodall? Because she is in many ways regarded as perhaps the foremost authority on chimps if, or one of the top most uh, experts on chimps. What was it like for you, Stani, uh, meeting Jane? When, at what point in your life did you meet Jane Goodall, Stani? And were you already advanced enough to be able to communicate with the chimps as well as um, convey that message to others? Or could you share a little bit about that, Stani and, and Richard? And what was it like working with Jane Goodall and really collaborating with her? Um. As I say, I, I, I joined Jane Goddard in 89 mm. in Burundi. Mm. And at that time, there were so many chimpanzees uh, in Burundi for families, hotels, to, 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 to tourists to use to go back home in their, their country, go back with the baby chimps as a souvenir. So there was no room mm. in Burundi to protect the, the wildlife. Mm. So is it, is it Jenny Goddard who, bring, who brought that change? Mm. Uh, um, uh, is it Jenny Goddard who brought that change in the Burundi? And uh, as you know now, Jenny Goddard, she's, uh, she's uh, me, uh, meeting the top uh, leaders. Mm. So introduce that program in the Burundi, tell the, the, the top leaders in the government, education mm. so and uh, i was young that time in 89 i was i was very young but uh, and then it's that she used to come in burundi because uh, from tanzania and Burundi, you know it is near mm. so she used to visit uh, us many times mm. and and uh, she knew me today if you talk about uh, stani in front of jenny goddard i think he uh, he know he knows me very well. <laughs> <laughs> he knows me from from eighty nine until today. Wow! Uh, I didn't we are still together, and she knows me very well. Even today, she know I'm here. So even she's the one even recommended me to come to to work at Chimpa Eden. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, there was I think there was somewhere in a meeting, and then uh, they needed someone to come to to help the staff, to training staff. At the Chimpa, Chimpa Eden, and they ask you who they ask Jenny Goddard who she can, uh, she can recommend to come to help at the Chimpa Eden, and then he said she know only uh, one person in Uganda. They ask you who Stanley. So and then they they, they 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 try to find where I am, and they I have a friend. His name is Jimmy Jim. He's in New York, and then they, then they go there, he told them the people who are looking at me, if you to find, to get his turn very quickly, mm -hmm. you get this contact for Jimmy. <laughs> uh, and then they contacted Jimmy, and the Jimmy, I uh, sent the email, they are looking at you. you will, if you can go to Jenny, uh, Jenny Goddard Institute in Uganda, and the, the director there can tell you the details. I think they want you to go to the Chimpa Eden in South Africa. So Jenny Goddard, she's, uh, I can say now she's, uh, she's my, my mom. <laughs> she's my mom. And uh, I am very, very happy. And um, I am very appreciated 
Uh, I don't know even which word I can I can put there, but uh, for me to say Jenny Goda is my mom, I, I think it's not wrong because I joined Jenny Goda when I was a um, young boy, and then I now I am a bit old now. Mm -hmm. So I grew in the Jenny Goda Institute, and uh, I have uh, I have done a lot mm -hmm. from her. And the hostess is very, very appreciative about Stani. I'm sure everywhere she goes, uh, she's very proud about Stani. And uh, I am very also proud and uh, uh, about her, what she has done. And also she's still also continued. And also what she has put in me, which also the, the world also, they benefit. Mm -hmm. from me. So I'm very happy for that. So Jenny Goddard in general, she knows me very well. So I'd like to add one thing since we're talking about Jane Goodall is that uh, today, the day of this recording, as I know we're not live, um, is her 87th birthday. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. Happy birthday so, to Jane Goodall. Today. Happy birthday to Dr. Jane. Dr. Jane, excuse yeah. me, April 3rd to April 3rd. Happy birthday to Dr. Jane. Incredible. Uh, Richard, did you want to add a little bit more to that about what was your experience working with Jane Goodall? Had you worked with her before? Did you well, have... No, I'd never worked with her. Uh, it was a huge honor. It was funny. We were staying, in the, we went to Ottawa, Canada to film Jane. She was there doing, a, she does a, an evening lecture series or did before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we were all staying in the same hotel. So I actually met her in the elevator and was like, oh, I'm interviewing you tomorrow and I'm going to go see you tonight. And uh, it, so that was kind of fun. But, um, uh, and then I, of course you run to her in the elevator all the time throughout the day and when we're packing and cleaning up this, this set, but uh, which was kind of a trip because you don't expect that. But um, no, she, of course she knew Stanny. I mean, that was why she agreed to do the interview. She knew we were doing a movie on Stanny and she's the one who coined, who called him, named him the Chimp Whisperer. Um, and, you know, knows his history, you know, you know, incredibly well, was able to fill in some blanks that we, not that Stanley wouldn't have told us, but that we may have forgotten to ask him or didn't know to ask him. So, uh, and then of course, you know, she is probably, she is not probably, she is the foremost chimpanzee expert. Um, okay. And and one of the foremost, uh, I would think, uh, primate experts, period. I mean, she understands, you know, it's not just chimpanzees, it's, you know, that's what she was known for. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, she was, you know, Louis, Schle Louis Leakey assigned three different scientists to do like orangutans, gorillas, and chimps. Jane was the chimps. Diane Fossey was the gorilla. You know, that that's the whole story with that. But, um, uh, you know, she taught the scientists that no, you don't have to number and that yes, chimpanzees do use tools and mm -hmm. basic, you know, and, and they're not dumb animals. There was, uh, you know, quite a, quite, quite an amazing thing for a woman, especially to accomplish, but to do it in the sixties mm -hmm. was even more, more so amazing. Okay. So. Richard, what, I'm sure you learned a lot of things, but was there something in particular that you didn't know that you were going to learn while you were making this documentary about chimps? Is there something that surprised you about chimpanzees or just what, what did you learn through making this film? If you could share. I think the, the, the biggest lesson that I've learned is uh, the power of love. And that's coming from Stanny, just that his love for life, chimps, people, everybody makes everybody you know of course the chimps want to understand him and he wants to understand them because and that's all out of love and if if you learn that lesson you can be so much better and more successful about things so i, I know that may sound like a corny thing but you know uh, obviously anything technical you want to learn you can just read in a magazine nat geo or whatever or watch a million documentaries about but the lesson that I learned was I learned from Stanny, and I think it's an incredible gift. And thank you, Stanny, for that gift. Stanny, no, no worries. Could you elaborate yeah, on that? Yeah. Um, sorry? Yes, go ahead, Stanny. Yes, you were going to elaborate on that a little bit for us, Stanny? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, as I have spent time with the chimps, 
many people, and then, you know, I have meet, meet, uh, meet many people around in the world. Uh, so to, to reach level to meet um, Richard and the Barbara and the uh, Lois and the Jimmy, there was many, many people who has been asking me about uh, if I have done a film, if I have uh, write the book. Mm. Uh, but uh, it was, you know, it was a big job or big project for me. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can say everything it has a time. Mm. And uh, so I uh, one time, Jimmy, he came with his, his friend in Ngamba Island, and they, they told him about me. And uh, I was not around at that time. I was off. I, so I came when his, Jimmy and his team, uh, when they was very excited to meet me. Mm -hmm. And then we have the campfire, and then they told me to their visitors, they want to see you, and they, talk. they want to hear from you. So, and then... I give the talk story, and uh, Jimmy took very interest, and then he promised he had a friend and uh, who write a book, and they say that I'm going to contact him. He, will help, he can help you to write the book. So the book, the book which is coming uh, soon, it is already done. It is looking, it is in the hand of the agents which is looking their publisher which it is a very, very excited book, mm -hmm. very story, a lot of story, my, almost uh, my life is mm -hmm. in that book. Mm -hmm. wow. And uh, so as Richard, uh, Richard said, as the process of the book was going on, and uh, Barbara and uh, Lois, they joined that. Mm -hmm. And they said, OK, we can do also a doc uh, documentary. So, and uh, they did, and then the documentary was, was made by Richard. Richard, thank you very much for the wonderful job we have done. People, they like it. <laughs> well, they and like they, you for sure, but what's not to like, and, right? Well, Stanley, that, that's what I was going to, uh, Stanley, I was going to And then the, now the people, they are very, uh, I think they are they counting the day. Mm. For the book, mm. there are so many. Almost the whole world, they are, they they, they are just want to see the, the book. Yeah. <laughs> as they want to, as they want to see the pantyhood re yes. re released. Yeah. People they want to see the pantyhood released. <laughs> Richard, Richard, the people they they demanding you the pantyhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the man, I'm not paying. Um, Stanny, if I, if I may ask just one question about the chimps once again, I'm sure there's so many lessons that can be learned from the chimps, but what would you say, are there a couple of things that we can learn from the chimps that we may uh, be well served to, to acclimate to? What, what can we learn from the chimps, Stanny? If you had to pick a couple of things, maybe. We can, uh, uh, the interesting things we can run in politics. Oh. <laughs> 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 Chimp up. Chimpa politics, it is very interesting. Mm, because interesting. The, mm -hmm. the chimps, they have a, they have a president, they have an alpha male. Mm. Huh? And as a, you keep, as a people, so we have a president. Mm -hmm. And uh, exactly, if you see the government, human government, even the chimps, they have their own government. Huh? And they, they have also higher ranking. Mm -hmm. And they believe they live in that, and they have to respect that. And then anyone in their community make a mistake, they have to discipline that. They have to report it to the boss. And they can also, they, they, if the boss doesn't do anything, they can also co continue asking, boss, do something. This one is he's, he's, he's very bad. He, he was doing bad in, in, our, in our community. And then if you sit down and then you follow that, it is very interesting. It's very difficult to, to watch a chimps for like maybe 30 minutes without laughing. You end when you're laughing. <laughs> so, 
and the other thing, other interesting thing you can learn from chimps it is the relationship. Mm. How they how they did the how they do the relationship. Girlfriend and the boyfriend. Mm. <laughs> they, <laughs> how, they have elections, they right? And they have they have elections and they have debates, just like we do, except they're more and when you lose a debate, it's more painful, right? Oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh. So how they how they how they proposing the, the the girlfriend? So to watch that it is very interesting, and also how they make how they make it uh, the, the the nest, and the, how they make it tools. If you look like uh, the kids normally in Africa, if you go in a rural area uh, uh, in Africa in a village, deep village where there are kids, they can't get a toy. Mm. But you see the rural area kids, they make it toy themselves in mm. local materials. So even in the chimps in their community, when they have a good time, they make it toy themselves. Mm. Huh? It, is, it is very amazing. And they make it toy and then they use that toy and they, the, the young one, they can run from, from there. And then for us, we can also... Uh, we can look and then we compare for our our life or our community and then it, it teach us a lot. Mm -hmm. So when we, we were watching the chimps, we learn a lot. So to me, I get the materials from chimps and then I use it to teach people and then I get the materials from people and then I talk to, I tell people so we, we we move together. It is almost a, it is a similar, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So they chimps they teach us a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I was also doing like uh, the project in you, Stanley, you there? He he may have frozen out of there, but um, Richard it may have just been the uh, software clicking over since you added more minutes, but. Not a problem, Richard. Well, why don't we just wrap this? I can, of course, ask many questions. It's fascinating. I hope to visit Stani and the team there. I know. I mean, I mean, it's like I, I still ask him questions. I mean, I was hoping he could tell you about the Easter egg hunt he has planned for the chimps tomorrow. Oh, Tomorrow's okay. Easter. If this that's... were live, you would. You know. <laughs> well, we're going to publish this today, so people will. Oh, really? Wow. Um, you know, last questions, and maybe Stani will join us. But the meaning of the word pen who. And Stanley may be able to demonstrate, but just what, what is a pant hoop really? Where does the name come? Well, from? it's it's actually the way they form the the uh, the description of what it is. So like where and, and what what Jane Goodall was saying was, and she explains it in the movie that it's not like if you see little children trying to make sounds, they go ooh ooh ooh, and that's not what a chimp does. It's oh. ooh, 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 ooh. and it's you know so they're panting and hooting it out. So you just kind of you know it's like like that. I mean I'm not good at it, so sorry for me. That you did great. That's amazing. But, yeah. no, it's, it's like when awesome. Stanley does it, it's like whoa. It's just like yeah. and you know and they and they listen to me. If I say it, they just look at you, yeah. Like who are you saying that? You don't know what you're talking about. I mean he'll <laughs> tell you that. No, the chimps are just looking at you like yeah. No, who are you to do that? You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, uh, he's well, a great guy i'm sorry we lost him i don't know how that happened but we uh, lost him we had a great conversation more, more importantly and um thank you for doing this where can we go to support this cause and where uh where can we go to see the film and support this great cause okay well we have uh, uh panthootfilm.com uh it's p-a-n-t-h-o-o-t film f-i-l-m.com and on there there are there's a link uh, in the top where you can say get involved and okay. that would uh, show different ways you can donate or adopt chimps through Chimp Eden because we're they were very kind to let us shoot there and um, so we're hoping to support them with that. Um, uh, sign up for our mailing list. Uh, as soon as the book gets published, we'll we'll you know put it. We'll we'll announce that on our website as well. Mm -hmm. Also, social media. All of it is pan at Panthoot Film. So, uh, Facebook at Panthoot Film, Instagram at Panthoot Film, and Twitter at Panthoot Film. Um, and that's uh, and obviously you know watch us at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival 
right. for certain. Uh, and uh, don't miss it. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's an awesome. Richard, congratulations. Thanks so much for taking Thanks, the Armando. Thanks, Thanks for all the patience and all the yeah. time. Congratulations. Yeah. Amazing. I, I hope to visit Chimp Eden one day, by the way. It's just incredible. Oh, yeah. I hope I hope we all can. I want to go back. My sister yeah. finally saw the movie and she goes, oh, I want." she's a veterinarian. She goes, oh, oh I'm taking you back there. We're going there. So <laughs> um, awesome. it's fun. It's really cool. Thanks so much. Richard, be well.